Yeah, I got really high hopes for this video just because I've been playing around with my camera a little bit trying to figure out the proper settings for the camera and everything because if y'all know, y'all know like I've been having some problems with my quality and everything so my camera, it'd be a little bit off but I think and I pray to God that we finally got the settings correct like the camera looks really, 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 really clear right now so hopefully it comes out really good so turn your settings on YouTube up to like the highest quality it can get to and yeah, watch in the better quality hi you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is princess tommy i'm a content creator esthetician actress model entrepreneur the whole nine baby i do it all okay you might as well subscribe you may learn a few things or two if you're not new here hi you guys welcome back to my channel this video has been highly 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 anticipated and i've been putting it off for as long as i could filming is going to be a very 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 long process but it gotta get done i gotta put y'all on okay like it's getting ready to get cold outside well, it's already getting cold outside the weather is changing like i, I gotta drop these gems i can't gatekeep them i gate kept for a long time but now it's time to spread knowledge baby and i'm all for spreading knowledge so as you guys can read by the title, today I will be doing my 2020, 2022, 2023 hygiene product routine slash knowledge that shit. I'll be giving you guys a bunch of products I recommend, products that I personally use that are good for your skin, and a bonus tip. Oh, someone's calling me. That's my grandma. She has to wait a minute. But yeah, I'll be giving you guys all of the products that I recommend and I like using as an esthetician. So yes, baby, I have credibility. I'm currently in my phase of learning every product, learning the ingredients and products. I'm not a dermatologist, but I'm an esthetician. So put some respect on my name. I don't want to talk too much than I already have. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and start to break down this hygiene routine from literally head to toe. I'm super excited. You guys get your notes, get your paper, whatever you want to do. Take your phone out, type because it's about to get good. I'm doing this for y'all because y'all been asking me like, we need a hygiene routine. We need, what should I use for this? What should I use for that? All of y'all be asking me in my comment section, y'all better be going to attend with this video. I'm not playing. Thanks, Spooky. So the first thing we wanna start with is skincare. Hence, esthetician, like what, the You need a skincare routine, okay? Before I was an esthetician or whatever, I had a skincare routine, but I didn't know as much as I know now. So your skincare is really, really, really important. Your skin is your body's largest organ. It's the closest thing to your bloodstream, so you need to take care of your skin. I've been doing facials, and I see all types of stuff. I see men that don't wash their face, men that wash their face with conditioner and soap, like, like body wash and shit like that. Like, no. Nah. Y'all see my skin? Flawless, baby. I take good care of the skin. So if you want clear skin or just healthy skin in general, take care of it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with acne prone skin. So if you have acne, you need to be using products that are drawing the oil out of your face because that's what acne is. Acne is oil and like congestion in your skin. You want to pull that stuff out of your face to minimize that acne. So you wanna use products from like clay cleansers, charcoal cleansers. The Aztec clay mask is a very, 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 very good mask for someone who has acne. Why? Because it's a clay mask and it's drawing all of the impurities out of your skin. So I know the TikTok girlies, they always wanna be putting y'all on the products and everything, but like the products they be putting y'all onto, it don't be for your skin type. So I love TikTok, I'm a stan, but if you're gonna get a product from there, just make sure it's for your skin type. So with people who have acne, that is a really, really, really good mask for you guys. So the Aztec Clay Mask, you can find it at Target, we spot store. $10, I think. And this mask is also a mask on the cheaper side, the Freeman clay mask. I found this at five and below. It's like an off-brand type of mask, but it's good. This brand, Freeman, is a good like off-brand, cheaper side face mask if you guys ever want to go the cheaper route. I recommend don't play cheap with your skin. This is a good mask though. This is the Freeman Oil Observing Mint Plus Lemon Clay Mask. So it's a 10 minute mask, instantly refreshes, and it controls breakout for clear skin. When it comes to like cleansers and stuff like that, you should be cleansing your face morning and night, period. For people who have acne prone skin, you can use a gel cleanser. So you can find it with gel cleanser like Dermalogica, Murad, um, CeraVe has a gel cleanser, I believe. So when it comes to a serum, serum isn't a moisturizer, but 
for people who you know have a lack of knowledge of serum stuff like that a serum is basically something you put on your skin and you can put moisturizer on top of it or you can put your moisturizer on and then your serum is completely up to you for people who have acne a good serum for you is retin-a and niacinamide so these are two serums that i recommend for people who have acne this one is the retin-a serum and this one right here is the niacinamide serum so these two, you cannot buy these because these are actually for professional use only. So if you're not a esthetician or a student, you actually cannot buy these specific ones right here. But you can find serums that have retin-A in them and niacinamide. They're not hard to find at all. But yeah, so niacinamide, it is a clearing center with niacinamide vitamin B3, which helps to reduce blemishes and redness while brightening to help minimize premature signs of aging skin. Niacinamide has a lot of benefits. Like a lot of these things have a lot of benefits for you, but um, like these two are really good for people who have acne skin. So use these. Retin-A, you can't be in the summer of retin-A, so just be careful when using this. So use it at nighttime. There's a lot of things you cannot do with retin-A. Like you can't, if you're using retin-A, you can't do like certain exfoliations. You can't do certain waxing and stuff like that. So just be careful if you do decide to use the retin-a just read the manufacturer's ingredients and everything like that which is why it says for professional use only not for retail find you a good serum and incorporate it into your skincare routine so we can get your skin back on the right track as well as get a facial look your facials once a month if the extractions are needed we could do that we could do high frequency all that good stuff so if you have acne prone skin gel cleansers are good for you clay mask or charcoal cleansers are good for you and niacinamide and retin-a are some good serums and you know your moisturizer and everything like that moisturize day and night wash your face morning and night go to bed sleep tight now we're moving on to dry skins dry skin what it sound like you need hydrating products in your skincare routine so i want to show you guys a few so right here you can actually buy this product it's really really good i swear by this it's the dermalogica intensive moisturizer cleanser it looks like this so it has ingredients in here that's going to hydrate your skin putting water on your face is not going to hydrate your skin you need to add a cleanser in your life if you don't have a cleanser you need to get one you don't have to get this one specifically but you find your own product that you like to use and just incorporate into your skincare routine if you have dry skin, you want something that has moisture in the name, CeraVe, Cetaphil, stuff like that. Pick your poison, okay? It's completely up to you. But like I said, if your skin is dry, you want products that are adding moisture into your skin, not drawing the moisture out. If you have dry skin, why would you use a clay on your face? So moving on to the mask portion for people who have dry skin. This is also a good mask by Dermalogica. It's the conductive mask base. So sometimes what we do is we'll, we'll put this on the skin under another mask that we'll do, such as an oatmeal mask or a yogurt probiotic mask, which is really, really, really good for people who have dry skin. You can also use this by itself. Conductive mask base is super, super, super cooling and super, super, super hydrating. You can use this once a week. Or you can find any other mask that you like. Just make sure it has hydration in it. This one by itself is a really good hydration mask. All hydrating products if you have dry skin. When it comes to a serum, you will use hyaluronic. So this is what the hyaluronic acid serum looks like. You know, it's getting cold, y'all. So like, dry skin is very popular in these times. So moisturize day and night. Cleanse day and night. Apply a mask weekly. Serum every day. Now, if you have combo skin like me, which is both oily and dry in certain areas, like, like you'll normally be oily like in your T-zone, you can still use hyaluronic acid and you can also use niacinamide. Both skin, you can use gel cleansers mixed in with oil-based cleansers. You want to maintain the both. You want to maintain the oil in your skin. You want to maintain the moisture in your skin. I know there was a lot to unfold there, but... That's pretty much, you know, your skincare products that I recommend. And I just gave you guys basically like the back end of a lot of things. I do want to include these two products right here. You can also buy these on Dermatica. This is SPF. This is moisturizer. You need both every day. But SPF, this is your holy grail to maintaining smooth skin. Your skincare routine is shits if you don't include SPF in it. You need SPF daily. If it's cold outside, SPF. If it's raining outside, SPF. If it's hot outside, especially SPF. SPF is basically sunscreen, which protects you from UV rays, sun damage, skin cancer, anti-aging. It has so many benefits. People of color, you need sunscreen. I was somebody who did not wear sunscreen. So now I have damaged skin because I didn't wear sunscreen. And I will always burn, my skin will peel, and it will just become really damaged. So now I'm suffering between hyper and hypopigmentation, which is like blemishes of my face that are uneven because of the sun. You need SPF 
in your skincare routine. And this is a moisturizer. You can mix these two together. If you use this by itself, it's gonna leave like a white outcast on your face, so just mix it with this. You only need a little bit, not too much. So like I said, that was a lot to unfold there, but we pretty much covered everything. I hope y'all got the gist. So have a good skincare routine because again, your skin is your body's most what? Largest organ. Okay, now that we're done with skincare, we can finally move on downwards. So now I'm going to go into oral care. This is very close to this one because y'all been walking around with these stinky breath. Are you serious right now? Okay, so I'm not going to show y'all a toothbrush because toothbrush is your preference. Get a good toothbrush and rest on a good toothbrush because it goes a long way. And somebody like me, I used to have braces. So my oral care routine was so specific because it was certain things I couldn't use and could use. But now I don't have them. I have some nice little cute white teeth. So listen up. Listen up. This ultra white, ooh, this ultra white cold gate with charcoal toothpaste. I swear I'm about this. It goes back to the skin. It removes certain properties on your teeth that shouldn't be there to make your teeth white. Formula helps lift surface stains to white teeth. It does what charcoal does is drawing that stuff out. Like I, you go, girl. I'm so damn smart. I'm so smart. Having braces, it caused me to have like some discoloration in my teeth just because when you put braces on your teeth, they like whiten them a little bit and then they put like glue on. So the glue that's on your teeth is like. A different color my teeth aren't like yellow or anything like that not too bad at least but I'm saying like people who have braces or have like stuff like that on their teeth you will want to use products that are help gonna help whiten your teeth in the long run because you're gonna have like stains or anything like that this is the Colgate charcoal ultra white toothpaste or any whitening toothpaste which you prefer but this is really really good along with the Colgate this is my favorite 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 mouthwash I've been using mouthwash since I can remember I'm actually out <laughs> but I still want to show you guys because it's right here but this is the Thera Breath Dentist Formulator Whitening Fresh Breath Oral Rinse protects teeth from staining for 24 hours why is it about peroxide safe to use every day no alcohol blah 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 this is in the flavor dazzling mint it's super cute he got like little sparkles and everything you can find this at target it's really it's kind of pricey it's like ten dollars i think for a mouthwash and it doesn't last you very long because the instructions say to use it like twice right so yeah it says rinse mouth for up to two minutes with one capful wait 30 minutes before eating use morning and night so when you're using them morning and night it's not gonna really last you, you know, too long. But I feel like it's a good product, a good investment for your oral care. This is probably like one of the only things they mentioned on TikTok, which is, you know, accurate and good. Really good product. Moving on to flossing. I'm not a big fan of like threading floss. I prefer the placards, which is why they're right here. You can find these at Target, the dollar store, Walmart, anywhere. Placards, I love me a placker. It's so freaking easy. Watch this, baby. And if you lazy like me, you can take this on the go. Floss your teeth, keep it pushing, honey. Okay. Like when I had braces, I didn't like always floss because it was so hard to floss for one. And like with braces, you had to go through freaking hoops to floss your teeth. Like get a water pick, and even that didn't do too much justice. You had to go get different types of little applicators to put floss. Child, I ain't had time for all that. I would use these the best way I could because you know with braces they had like you know the wires and everything. So people don't realize that yeah, like if your tongue is not clean, you're gonna have an odor. But if you have food in your teeth as well, and you're not getting it out with floss, you're going to have an odor in your mouth as well because that food is sitting in your mouth. All that stuff starts to build up and like that's endless bacteria in your mouth. So get that stuff out. Floss. You will probably think brushing your teeth is getting all of it out, but it's not. It's not. You need to floss and you need a mouthwash. I don't know who to hear this, but you need it. A tongue scraper is good to have. You can find them at Target and shit like that too. Amazon. Like you can find all this stuff any damn where if you're really looking. If you're not looking, then I feel sorry for you and whoever you whoever face you be in. I have these 3D whitening like strips for my teeth. I like to use this a lot too because again it like it whites my teeth. I found these at Target, I believe. And there's some little whitening strips. It tastes awful. But they work. They really, 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 really do work. I think it's like seven or 14 strips in the pack. It's one for your top row and one for your bottom row. Invest in some whitening strips unless you want to go get like a whitening done. I've done both. The whitening strips are just more convenient for me. So that is all for oral care. Not too much on it. Like you know, the simple basics, toothbrush, toothpaste, tongue scraper, floss, mouthwash. 
pretty self-explanatory now i thought skincare was long i just know this process is getting ready to be hella long now we're on to the shower product shower hygiene all of that good jazz we're gonna go ahead and start with our body washes and soaps and stuff like that my favorite soap is the Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 Pure Castle Soap. I used to use the peppermint soap, and I thought that when I tried this one as well, it was going to give me like the same feeling and reaction, but it does not. The Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap, that one is stripping your skin because this one kind of does the same thing in a way. When you're washing your body, and your body's tingling, you know, it, your body is getting stripped from whatever's on your skin that day. So it may sound good. But like over time, you don't want to do that. That's just like exfoliating every single day. It's good, but you're not going to do it every single day. This one's like really, really light. You don't feel too much of a reaction. You still do get that deep clean though. It just doesn't feel the same way the peppermint one will feel. And I got the big bottle this time, which is like $14. And at first I had a little bottle and that bottle lasted me a way longer time than this one. So I'm a little off here because I bought this not even a month ago and it's like right here and I don't use it every day. So I'm confused. My smaller bottle I had lasted me probably like five months. I'm not even kidding you. And it's not even just like a good soap for your body. It's good. It's a good shampoo. I wash my wigs with this. You can wash. I wash my cat's booty with this one time. You can mop the floor with like it literally has so many benefits. 18 and 1 hemp rose pure castor soap which also scared me to a certain extent because you ever see like some shampoos they'd be like four in one shampoo like you can wash your hair you can shower with it stuff like that like it gives me that vibe but it's not like this is actually really 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 good soap i have this app on my phone you guys can download it's called yukra i think y-u-k-a or y-u-k-r-a one of them two it's a really good app you can scan your products and you know determine which ingredients are good for you and everything like that so before i buy anything anything baby i'm always scanning my products and it could just be the estee in me now that i'm like you know i'm more aware of what i'm putting in my body and everything like that don't be afraid to try new things next body wash we're moving on to the native body wash in the flavor coconut and vanilla i like this to a certain extent though like i like it but it's like i don't feel clean with it i just feel very like moisturized and hydrated it, it's a really good product maybe i gotta try like another one of the flavors or whatever because they had different ones but this shit is expensive too. It's like $14 for a, for a thing of soap. It smells good and it feels really, really good on your skin. I just don't feel super, 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 super clean, which is why I mix my body wash. It's like I'll use this and I'll use Dr. Bronner's and then I'll be good to go. Since Dr. Bronner's like, you know, stripping my skin, I would go in with this to like, you know, put some moisturizer back into my skin because it'll I'll feel like really, really dry and like stuck kind of. It gives me like, you know, moisturizer and it says this is a cleanser to wrap coconut oil, which makes sense. Like it gives me that coconut oil you like moisturizer vibe. Dove bar soap, you can never go wrong with a bar soap. I feel clean with Dove bar. I'm just not too fond with Dove products. Like it's a hit or miss. Some ingredients in their products are, you know, not good to be on the skin. But if it does come down to it, that this would be like my last option. But like if I don't feel like using Dr. Bronner's that day, I would go in with this just in my body. And I do feel clean with Dove. Not the body wash per se. But like their bar soap, the original one, like with not all that scents and shit in it. I feel really, really clean for regular Dove bar soap. Last but not least, I have this Terra Mars, Terra de Mars body cleanser. Same with the face, you know, like your body cleanser, you can use this in the shower. You don't have to use a cleanser every single day. Like it's not like a soap. Like I don't know how to describe it. It's a cleanser for your body. So you can use it like every other day. Or you can use it every day if you want to, but like it's not a body wash if that makes sense. So I got this in like a PR package and I actually do like the way this feels. So I don't know where you can find this. I guess you can just Google it. It's probably on Amazon or probably at Ulta. This is like, I got this from BoxyCharm. And BoxyCharm, they send you like the good shit. So they don't send you nothing cheap. They send you that good stuff. So you can probably find this like Ulta, Sephora and stuff like that. So I'm a big person on like Yonis and Yoni products because I wax. I'm looking at bikinis, Yonis all day, every day. So vaginal hygiene is very, 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 very important to me specifically because I do it and I have to deal with it every single day. Therefore, taking care of your vagina is super, super, super important, y'all. From your sex partners to what you're doing to your body, like all of that stuff, it matters. I got this Honey Pot Company Cucumber and Aloe Foaming Wash. 
I've tried the sensitive skin one. I'm not too fond of that one. And I tried this one. I actually do like this one though. So the thing about using sensitive products is like they put chemicals in a product to make it like you know sensitive you feel me so it's like they put stuff in it to make it sensitive so it's like it's missing certain properties that are really probably good for your skin and everything like that so so i didn't like that one too much but this one i do like this one and i know everyone saw that whole controversy with the whole honey pot like you know situation that happened um she didn't sell her products she did not switch out her products or nothing like that as a product person like when you're making products ingredients change every single day you gotta find new ways to get ingredients like it's actually more ingredients than it used to be but it's pretty much all of the same thing because if not better the products are still good you scan them you're still gonna have like a good percent and everything on it three pumps clean that area so you don't have to use a vaginal wash it's completely up to you it is preferred because it helps like you know maintain the ph but it can also throw off the ph if you're not using it correctly or you're just overall sensitive some people just can't use vaginal washes at all they have to just use strictly like water and that's fine i don't use that every single day which is why it's so full but like every day no because i don't want to like you know throw myself off because that can happen when you're overusing products and mixing your products together when you're washing anyway soap is like you know it's gonna make its way down there but with a vaginal wash you have to like literally wash the area not inside of you but you know like you know spread wipe 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 stuff like that but never douche is a douche or douche I think it's douche moving on to exfoliation so along with your shower care you need to be exfoliating three times a week arms legs yonis back whatever the case may be y'all don't understand how big exfoliation is it removes dead skin scale skin scales it removes the dead skin cells from your skin and leaves your skin feeling really 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 smooth so i have two exfoliators right here i'm going to show you guys this one is the dove exfoliating body polish now before i get into this product right here do not and i say do not exfoliate your vaginal area with this it's not good for that area of the skin i don't want nobody to say oh tommy told me you should somebody my because no the hell i did not I did not say that. So I got this because it, it looks pretty. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks pretty and it smells really, really good. So when I use this body polish, I would use it on my arms and on my legs and it'll be that. I don't put it anywhere else on my body. But like my arms and my legs and everything, your arms and your legs would not want to get like, you know, ingrowns like your vaginal way. That makes sense. So when it comes to exfoliating down to the area, either you use a product that is good or you use a glove. You can exfoliate your whole entire body with gloves or specifically your yoni. All of my clients that come and they don't exfoliate, I'd be so mad because you can really see a difference in exfoliating your skin when you're getting a wax. Also have this one by Angel Cosmet. It's a tropical pineapple body scrub. So this is good for your arms and legs as well. I wouldn't necessarily exfoliate my yoni with this either. This is because it has sugar in it and like but certain ingredients I wouldn't recommend putting too close to the yoni. I know the girls love their tea tree hut body scrubs. Let me tell you, that is why your ass got ingrowns. That's why your ass is suffering from whatever you're suffering from. That is not good. Throw that shit in the trash. If you want to be cute and put it on your arms and your legs, that's completely fine, up to you. But do not exfoliate you any with that. You want to avoid products that are comedogenic. Like for example, coconut oil is very, 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 very comedogenic because it clogs your pores. When you're getting products that have like oils in it, make sure you're looking up like the level of them. It goes from like zero to five. Zero being non-comedogenic and five being highly comedogenic. Coconut oil is at a five. Almond oil is a good one. Grapeseed oil is a good one. But coconut oil, no. The KP Bump Eraser, that's a good one. I also have this one called the Shea Moisture Hand and Body Scrub. That one has like lavender and apricot in it. That is a really, really, really good one as well. Or like I said, you can just use your gloves and call it a day. But everyone always asks me like, what exfoliator should I use on my yoni, blah, 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 blah. Here you go. I just gave y'all all the details, so use it. I'm not playing with y'all. <sighs> my mouth getting so dry talking to y'all. Oh my God. Post shower care simple and easy deodorant lotion perfume all that jazz i have three different type of like moisturizers for after the shower or whenever i'm going somewhere or whatever so this one i use this at night this is the coco sleep lavender oil and coconut oil dream body lotion i got this from pink not too long ago well a long time ago but this it's like melatonin baby you put this on your body with the spray that i got you're docked 
every time I use this or the spray, I be sleep like instant. The ingredients in this is literally just coconut oil and lavender. Then I had this aromatherapy awakening sun um, moisturizing body lotion from Bath and Body Works. But this is the Jasmine and Argan Oil Body Oil by Anti Cosmetics as well. Anti Cosmetics, they have some really, really, really good products. I love their products a lot from their body scrub to their soap to everything. Like, I love their products a lot. They sponsored me before. Anti Cosmetics, I'm gonna need y'all to run that shit back <laughs> because I love their products. Like, they're, they're really, really good. But it's the Jasmine and Argan Body Oil. It leaves your skin looking glowy, honey. I will always mix my oil and a lotion. So if I'm using this, I will put these two together because I want to hydrate my skin as well, but I also want like a smooth finish. Then I have this Aquaphor Baby. I have dry skin, especially like on my legs and everything because I don't always apply lotions. I know, I know, I know. I'm telling y'all I do this to net. But I don't always like hydrate my legs and everything like that, which I should. I just don't. Like, when the weather's getting cold and everything, I'm like, oh, I don't need that. But yeah, yeah, I do because I'm, I'm like a freaking reptile with these scaly ass legs. But what's been helping me is Aquaphor. Aquaphor is really, 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 really good for dry skin. If you got like eczema, this is what they give you, or they tell you, oh, buy some Aquaphor. This is really, really good. So I'll put this on with a lotion. Not necessarily like one of these. I'll just use like a regular, like a V no lotion or anything like that and go up on my day. It's good. So if you have like dry skin like me, Aquaphor is the way to go. Now, deodorant. I have the Schmitz Natural Deodorant and the flavor Rose and Vanilla. So I'm actually getting ready to go into a transition of not using deodorant, period. Because it's like, you can never find a good deodorant that's like perfect. Like all these deodorants have like so many chemicals. This is probably the closest thing I had to perfect because Dub is not good. Secret is not good. A lot of deodorants don't work for me. Or they just like some shit in general. I used to use the Hey Human deodorant. This one's cool. The Hey Human, that's probably like the best one that I've used, period. But I want to make the transition from not using deodorant at all. And use like lime and lemon. And before y'all come for me and be like, oh, you're going to be musty. Relax, baby. Relax. I said I'm going to try. I'm going to try to make the transition and I'm going to see. But I've heard like it works. Believe it or not, that's where a lot of like disease and stuff come from. Like lumps on the underarms. It's like build up of these products and the chemicals inside of the product. So I, again, I'm saying like look at your product's ingredients. I scan all of my products. The so only product I have up here that's probably like poor is this one. Last but not least, the scent. So my scent changes every single day. I just pull it out the one that I use the most because I have so many. So when I'm going out and about like actually out i'm going to want to smell room so i'll use like one of my most expensive ones like this one or my miss dior or my dolce and gabbana one but this one is my go-to i love this one it gives me like an older rich smell my mom on the other hand she don't like this scent because she says it smells kind of old but it doesn't though like it smells like it smells really rich and expensive to me when i want to go light i'll wear like bath and body works mixed with like my joe malone or something like that this is heavy this is going to be with you all day mr yours heavy as well too like mr your you're going to smell like dior all freaking day Whew, you're almost done almost done though now we're moving on to hair removal. Plain and simple. Stop shaving and start getting waxed. Simple as that. It grows back literally in five minutes. You get razor bumps. You start itching. You get hyperpigmentation. You get ingrown. Like it's just so much that comes from shaving because you're not shaving from the root. You're shaving from the surface. So that hair bulb that's still in your skin is still right there and it's going to just continue to grow out because you're not getting it from the root versus waxing you're pulling the hair from the root which is why it takes so longer for that hair to start this its cycle all the way over and begin to grow waxes take four to three weeks to grow back shaving you, you're gonna have hair the next day we, we all know so it's just like why continue to shave when you can get waxed now if you're underage i get it but like if you're over 18 and you're not waxing it's like what are you doing? Again, the TikTok girls were like, oh, my shave routine, baby, your shave routine is shit because I know you still have little hair pupils right there. Like, there's no way you're, sha you're shaving from the root. Like, you literally can't do that. If you want to shave, fine. But I know, like, when you're waxing, you just have less problems waxing and you have long-lasting results. Shaving may be more convenient for you and less painful, but just think of longevity here, okay? Beauty is pain. Removing hair is essential because... Hair carries bacteria. Nair, 
any chemical remover, don't get me sorry, just, just don't use it. You might as well shave if you want to use like Nair or any of that shaving stuff. Y'all see on TikTok again, just you might as well shave. Like if you're going to do that, I'd, I'd rather you shave because I have so many clients that came to me with burns from this Nair. And I'm like, do it to yourself, baby, do it to yourself. Now you want me to give you a mask to fix the discoloration. I'm going to do it, but I'm just saying. And last but not least, your out and about slash your period kit. At unexpected times, we get our periods. Like me last week, I'm not going to come on till Sunday, but I came on on a Thursday. And it hit me as surprise. I'm like, like, what you doing? Like my, my log said Sunday. It's Thursday. Caught me off guard. Thank God I was at home though. I have these Honey Pot 100% organic cotton panty liners. Panty liners are good for your everyday use. Us women, we have discharge. Discharge is completely normal. It's our body cleaning itself out. And you know, it's good to have a panty liner versus it being inside of your, like, you know, your underwear because bacteria, moisture, like all that stuff, it just doesn't go well together. I also have her pads, but I ran out, but her pads are good as well. Only thing I can say is like, if you're a heavy, heavy, heavy bleeder, they're probably not going to be for you because they're more so like on the thin side. I've never really had a problem with like, you know, bleeding out of my clothes for pads, even though I'm not a heavy bleeder anymore, but like, I still think my cycle is more on the heavier side, but I've never had a problem with her pads. So, you know, just give it a try to each its own. I also use these pads, which is the 100% pure cotton chlorine free oxygen pads. But here's the kicker with this. I've heard that this brand right here like causes some issues with the like the reproductive system. I don't know how true that is. Shit changes every single day. I don't know, but I've been using these for a long time and I like them. Like when I use these versus like an always pad, I literally feel a difference. Like always pads give me cramps, like I'm just very uncomfortable. But with these, like I feel like I feel good. The same thing with the honey pot pads. Like you just really see a difference in the brands that you use and like you know, like I said, products change every single day. So I don't know how true that is that this isn't good. I'm gonna look at these ingredients even though it has it like the ingredients right here. My honey pot collection goes wide, baby. So I also have this honey pot panty underarm spray. So you can use this for your underarms, your shoes, your panties, whatever. So like if you're just having like one of them days or like you wanna like just refresh yourself, you can use this one. This is in the scent calming lavender. Honey pot, sponsor me, baby. Probiotics. So I actually have three probiotics. I just don't know where the other one is, but here are my two that I have right here. So this is the Azo Complete Feminine Balance Daily Probiotic. And this one is the VH Essentials Probiotics with pre with prebiotics and cranberry. I got this one off Amazon and this one at Target. And my other one that I have, it is the like three pressure or something like that. I don't know where that one is actually. I just switch them out here and there. I don't necessarily pick which one I'm gonna use, but I've been using this one more because like in the summertime, I was experiencing like a UTI too frequently to my liking. And I'm like, I'm not sexually active. So I'm trying to figure out like what was going on. And it was because like I, I hold in my bladder a lot. I don't know why, but like I do, and it's really, really bad. So I hold in my bladder a lot and I don't consume enough water. So that was like two main things that played a fact in like, you know, my urinary tract. So, so I just decided to get some probiotics that have like prebiotics in them and cranberry because cranberry is good for the urinary tract. And I've been good ever since. I haven't had an experience, but I've experienced two UTIs in the summertime and they are not fun. So I went to the doctor and she was like, yeah, you got a UTI and everything like that. So I was like, okay, well, I need to get some probiotics and cranberry in my system because I wasn't a big fan of like taking supplements and everything, but supplements, they go a long way and they're good for you. I just take them and incorporate it into my daily routine. Take it every day, morning or in the night. I decide to take it at nighttime because like when I'm winding down, that's when I remember to take everything. Those are good for like balancing the good bacteria and the bad bacteria in your vagina. All right, you guys, my mouth is super, super, super dry. I've been talking for literally an hour and 30 minutes. This video will be condensed a lot, but you know, I've been talking for a long time. I hope I gave you all some very, very, very valuable information. And I hope y'all like winter time is coming up and this routine can be used in the winter time, the summertime, the spring, all year round. So I love y'all. Take these tips, go buy your products and everything, and tell them, oh, 
Tommy told me this, Tommy told me that. I love y'all so much. I hope y'all help y'all and stay clean and stay smelling good out here. This is the OG how to stay clean out here. Get off TikTok. Don't be making no potions with no pineapples and that crazy shit. Baby, just do what I tell you. Take care of that stuff. Eat a good diet and everything. And you'll be good. Shower day and night. Moisturize. Deep cleanse. Detox. All of that. You're good to go. I love y'all once again. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can see more of me and my face. And I love y'all. See y'all next time.